Hello, my friends, and this is Professor Mathful, and now we're going to do Algebra for Beginners. Now, Algebra, it's kind of like, sometimes people don't really like, like it at all, because it's like, you know, it gets harder and harder, it's very confusing, but if you're just going to start it, eh, I'm going to make you like it, because it's fun. And we're going to start with a simple equation x plus 5 equals 8. Now, you might do this all immediately out of your head, but we're going to work through it. And when we're working through it, we're going to take, take a pen, and then I'll show you, like, x plus 5 equals 8. Okay, now, you might immediately find out, wait, x plus 5 equals 8, so, uh, something plus 5 equals 8. So, uh, 3 plus 5 equals 8, so x would be 3, but we want to do it the proper way, so we, we well, it's more of, to get rid of 5 on this side, we also subtract 5 over here, because we only want x equal to the number, so we have, so we move the, oh, uh, we move the 5, so we subtract 5 from it, minus 5, which equals, um, 0, so we have 0, and then we, ha but then we don't need to write 0, because it's x, then, because it cancels out, and we need to subtract 5 from here, so subtract 5, so x equal to 8 minus 5, let's do that, 8 minus 5 equals Three. Now that's what we get. So x equals three, and that's how you get the simple answer. X equals three. Now it's simple for now, but get harder and harder. We'll practice more of these right now. X minus eight equals twelve. Now it's subtraction. Doesn't have to be um, addition all the time. Like I tell you, get harder and harder. We start with the basics now. X minus 8 equals 12. Well, we add then 12 plus 8 to find out what we had the original. But also, we do it the real, if we do it the correct way, we subtract, we can't subtract 8 because if we do that, that would equal negative 16. So we have to. Add 8 because plus and minus they both cancel out, so then you have 0, so you have x. But then you also add 8 over here, which then 12 plus 8, which would equal 20. So we have x, equ oh, this is x equals 20. So the problem, so we can put that back in the problem we had. So we had, um, we had x minus eight equals twelve. So then we substitute twenty in here to check, recheck if we actually get it right. So twenty minus eight. Well, what is that? That's what we did here. Well, yeah, that's also twenty. So. That's 20. 20 minus 8 equals 12. So we got the answer right. We can recheck again like that. Now we can do that the same over here. So x equals 3. So our problem was x plus 5 equals 3 uh, equals 8. So if we sub substitute the x equals 3 instead, so 3 plus 5 equals 8. And that's true. So let's go to more. But wait. There's a number in front of the x. Now that's getting harder. So 3x minus 5 equals 10. Now I'll show you the correct way how to do it. So now we have 3x minus 5. Well, first let's get rid of the 5. So plus, no, plus 5. And then minus 5 plus 5, which will cancel out. But then we also do plus 5 over here. Yeah plus 5. 
no, plus 5. And then 10 plus 5 would equal 15. Now, this it's in the multiplication form because other ways you could write it 3 into. Well, I put the dot, I put the, um, a dot there to, cause, to represent as multiplication because... If you have x and then the the multiplication sign kind of gets a lot confusing. So 3 into x. Well, yeah, basically. So to get rid of the 3, we need to divide by 3. Because it's multiplication, we divide to get rid of multiplication. So we divide by 3, and then we get, oh no, wait, yeah, divide by 3, and then we get x. We le we're left with x. But then we have to divide 15 by 3. So 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So our ex our original prob problem was no our original problem was 3x minus 5 and we had substituted and we got uh, we got x equals 5 x equals 5. So then let's not equal equals 5. So let's substitute that. So 3x and x is 5, so 3 and it's multiplication because it's right next to it, so it's called it's multiplication. So 3 into 5, not 3 point, but 3 into 5. That's 15. Now, 15 minus 5, well, yeah, that's 10. So the answer is correct. So now we can re we rechecked it and make sure that our answer x equals 5 is right. We'll go on to more. 2x plus 8 equals 22. Now, let's see what what we can do. That's what like what we did last time. 2x. No, let's get no no, let's not do that. We do negative 8. So we'll get rid of the 8 first. Now what's 22 negative 8? Now it would be 14. 14. So 2x equals 14. Yes, I'm right. It's 14. So 2x equals 14, but then it's multiplication. 2 into x, then we can divide by 1 by 2, and then we get rid of it. So we get x, but then we divide 14 by 2. And then that would equal 7. So our problem we started out with was uh what date? Two twenty two x equals twenty two no it no that was not Duh uh, two x plus eight equals twenty two. So we have two x plus eight equals twenty two. But then we had we sub we had x which equals seven. No, 7. So then let's substitute that and to make sure we got it right. So, 2 into 7, which would equal 14. So, 14. And then we do 14 plus 8. Now, what 14 plus 8? 22. So, 22 and 22. That's correct. And now that's how you have, you do you start with mul algebra and also make sure you got the right answer. And now I'll bid you all farewell. Subscribe, leave a rating, and goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. And bye. Yeah.